Hey, are we live? Thank you very much for inviting me to chat with you. And thank you so much for, for, for having me on. Here we go. Okay. So um, why, tell me why does AWS continue to be the leader in the cloud, do you think? Yeah, I think on just on top line, like, I think customers choose us over other providers. We've got a lot more functionality. Um, uh, very importantly, we've got the largest and most vibrant community of partners uh, and customers. Um, we've got the most proven operational and security expertise, um, uh, even by, by third party analysts. Mm -hmm. And the business is innovating at a very fast clip, especially in, in the, like the new areas like machine learning, AI, Internet of Things and serverless. Um, you know, we support today like over more than 175 fully featured services, um, mm -hmm. products or services that you can use. It is more than this. And, um, you know, we're coming up to reInvent, which is our big customer event um, end of the year. And we usually launch a whole lot more. So that's always the, the sales teams get all these new services to, to look at. Um, and, and obviously the technical teams need to keep training on these things as well. Yes. Um, <laughs> so it's really the whole, having the greatest breadth of services. I've got a whole breadth. But we also have the deepest functionality within these services. So if you look at our like machine learning services, we've got a whole uh, selection of them across different layers of the stack. So very kind of, um, we call them kind of AI services that you can just use them like a translate service or a personalized service. And then we've got like a machine learning platform that if you're comfortable, you can start running some models there, like it's called SageMaker. But if you're like a machine learning practitioner and you want to get into the, like the deep learning and the kind of GPU layer, the whole physical stack, we've got a whole bunch of services there as well. So we serve all the kind of technical stakeholder of like where they are and we kind of help that customer on that journey. Um, so if we think about that from a, a functionality perspective, what was the innovation? Like we do launch so many features uh, over time, like in uh, data point in 2011, we released about 80 significant services. So that's like, you know, 10 years ago. Fast forward in 2020, we launched 2,757 services. So, you know, the company's grown fast. We're adding more customers, and you know, 90% of our products and services come from direct customer ask. And then about 10%, we kind of innovate on their behalf because we get a lot of requests, and we're not really sure what it is. But then we get requests from a customer here and there, and then we kind of think, oh, maybe this is what's trying to solve their problem, and then we develop new services off the back of that as well. Yeah. Um, I mean, the acceleration of that innovation is mind-blowing, really, isn't it? It's just getting faster and faster. And I know from speaking with our development team, you know, it's it's like a, a playground for them, you know, diving into all the different AWS technologies and services, and um, which is great. I think it's really important that they they have a play, they understand the new technology, and then really can can determine how Embed can derive value from that for our customers. Uh, and, you know, that's one of the things I, I, as a CEO, really value in our partnership is that we do have access to, you know, bleeding edge, cutting edge technology that we can really assess and look at and determine what value that can add to our customers. And it might be now and it might be in the future. Uh, but if we don't know about it, then we, we, you know, we can't innovate in that area. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think that kind of comes to where another point, like, We've got like millions of active customers and like tens of thousands of partners globally yeah. that are like helping us innovate. Um, so it's a real network effect when, yes. when you use AWS, you know, customers across virtually every industry, every size, you know, from startups, uh, enterprises, public sector, small SMBs, small medium businesses. Um, they're running every kind of use case on, on AWS, um, which is just is super interesting. And like the embed one is like super interesting for me because it's family entertainment. My yes. kids are like always booking me to go to the, <laughs> go to the arcade. I know there's a um, level of familiarity there, isn't there, yeah. for uh, a lot of adults and parents. <laughs> exactly. Um, and, you know, as I mentioned previously, every AWS customer then has the opportunity to benefit from all of the collaboration and feedback that we get from, from all these different types of customers. Yeah. If you look at our partner network, it's not like um, we've got thousands of system integrators. You know, we mentioned previously, SIs will then help you build uh, on AWS if you don't have the capability. Um, but like most software companies, SaaS providers, you know, like yourself as well, um, will adapt their technology to work on one technology platform. Yeah. Um, sometimes we'll do two, but very few will do have the time to do three. You know, your developers are, are a very uh, finite resource. Yeah. And most of them start with AWS because of our significant leadership position. 
Um, it's why you see such a vibrant collection of SaaS uh, providers in AWS when you're moving to the cloud um, and you want those capabilities. So if, you, if an enterprise is moving to the cloud and they need you know, a CRM system, Salesforce. You know, the, the Salesforce runs vast majority of uh, what they do on top of AWS, um, as does Workday, um, you know, as does Splunk and Analytics, uh, Infor and kind of warehousing, um, uh, Databricks in machine learning analytics. So we've got a really broad collection of software. So as companies move to the cloud, they can start building their application, but they'll, they'll need other applications. And it's very easy to just consume that uh, via SaaS. And uh, from a procurement perspective, then they can just buy it directly off AWS Marketplace. We've got yeah. thousands of uh, customers there and all of that can then be integrated into their one AWS build. Mm -hmm.